Well, we've done the math for the layout in part one. This is part two. I'll do a quick layout here. This is just kind of a sample string. Um, this is some Brownell Fury that I got left over. Anyway, this is kind of boring, so I'm gonna come back in a second. Just doing a quick tag in. I'm just gonna use them tag in for uh, serving the end loop, because I don't wanna waste the $30 in serving for a sample. But in case you didn't know, you can do this and it'll hold just fine. Coming back. All right, I got it laid out, served. I got it on my twister stretcher. And I'm going to twist it 24.12 times, probably just 24, and then we'll check it. But anyway, when I twist, I don't like to have any poundage on it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. And we'll check that. Do that, we got to be at 100 pounds. I'm going to take these separators out. This kind of helps. Bring 100 pounds. 36 on the nose. I'll pull you off there and I'll show you. I can do that right. Scary, huh? There, it's kind of hard to do, but anyway, we're right at 36. So the formula does work pretty good. We're at 100 pounds. I hope that helps somebody. I said I got my spreadsheet on my. Uh, websites for free you just got to use a promo code spreadsheet i think is what it is but anyway it's free it definitely helps you track from one string to the next and once you finally get the formula figured out for how you build you can come out dead nuts a lot of the time you get up over i recommend doing 30 60 and 80 inch string like an 80 inch string you have to subtract a quarter of an inch because of the creep and the wax and stuff and also when you serve it could grow your string by about a sixteenth to an eighth. Anyway, hope this helps.